It's an honor and a privilege for me to announce the 2010 National Grand Prize. And the winner is... Purelytics. Mark, how does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty amazing. You know, I didn't enter this competition thinking we'd win. I'd hoped that we'd get some exposure by people who are interested in investing in water. But it's been a tremendous privilege to be involved and we've learned a lot uh, through the process of, of the Clean Tech Open. The guy convinced me, uh, our local, one of our local investors, had convinced, convinced me that um, if we entered this, we could win the whole thing. And I looked at him, I go, really? Okay. <laughs> so, so we went ahead and entered, and I've been very impressed uh, with all the coaching, the mentoring, uh, and the people involved in the process of the judging and the support uh, and the infrastructure of all this that goes into the Clean Tech Open. Oh, fabulous. What's next for Purelytics? Uh, Purelytics has just come out with two new products. Uh, one is the Shield. It's a industri light industrial water purification system. We're starting to sell uh, that system. And then the second is the solar bag, which is for the developing world. You just put it out in the sunlight and it's able to purify uh, water anywhere at any time. Fabulous. Any um, final pearl of wisdom for an entrepreneur who is considering entering the Clean Tech Open? You know, I think whenever you, in, in, whenever you have an idea, there's people who will tell you it can't be done. And from the beginning of this, um, there's always been someone saying it just doesn't work. You can't do it that way. Uh, it's a bad idea. It's a horrible time. The economy's bad. There's not good people out there. Whatever it is, I think you just have to believe in your idea and you have to go for it. And uh, there's people out there who will, who will see your vision and will come alongside and make it happen.